Welcome to Deeper Perspectives, the greatest spear fishing podcast. So a while back I did a video or two about, well I mistakenly said they were about camo, um, but really all I want to do here is show sort of what things look like from a fish eye view, whether you want to call it camo or what. Uh, a lot of people have strong opinions on the topic, ranging from you can hide yourself and you should, to you can't hide yourself and you shouldn't even try, to uh, they actually want the fish to see them. And I'm going to tell you what I think is right or wrong, but I think it's worth uh, taking a look, trying to see it from a fish eye view, and then you know maybe make a decision from there. One thing I feel like I learned from the videos before is that it's really more like mostly your head, your snorkel especially, and your gun that are really obvious. Another thing I felt like I noticed is that a fish is rarely going to be looking at you from above. So if you are trying to hide yourself, the color of the reef as you look down on it may not be as important as you know the bluish color if you're looking out through the water or, or kind of like that dark and maybe uh, almost black if you're hiding along overhangs, you know, whatever the fish would see from the side. I somehow missed that ooh -hoo, kind of pissed me off. Anyway, this is the suit that I was wearing, sort of a grayish top and um, a reef looking pants. I decided to try to put some strips of uh, camo or just dangly things on the end of my gun and on my snorkel and mask. thought that might break it up a little bit. Um, I didn't make the ones on my gun very long because I was afraid it was going to tangle up with my shooting line and my bands and stuff. The mask one I actually liked though and I really didn't even notice it as I was wearing it. It might just do a little bit to distract the fish from your eyes and I mean fish hate when you look at them and I got that big round head so that's usually kind of a, an obvious feature. I don't have a weight belt so having kind of a hard time staying down plus there was a lot of surge so if I could get a little a little lower reduce my profile kind of suck to the bottom there I think that would have helped out a bit too. But you can see what I mean a, a black suit might have been as good as anything right here. Uh, some kind of midwater collie here I don't know what he was doing. Um, probably got baited in by my by my danglies so then I went down one more time a long time ago when I competed in the inner pack the team from Tahiti had these two prongs on the front of their gun I guess they would uh, stick a fish on there um, like as bait or to hide their gun whatever you want to call it Even with, so I didn't load the bands um, and even with the bands unloaded, the gun actually just looks a lot less threatening. Um, so I really do think that the, the danglies would work. Or, um, I don't know, stick a collie on the front, I guess. Obviously, there's going to be some drawbacks to that. But anyway, there's a fisheye view.